pricing of a home, how buyers want to negotiate even after the agents have done all the work and sellers needing to listen to their agents on how to price their home. So let's start with a buyer sees a house and it's priced at, let's just go with 150, but it's sitting in maybe a 160 neighborhood. They feel that they still need to negotiate. The reason that might have been that way is because of the condition of the home. When an agent prices a home, nine times out of 10, I'm not saying all agents, but majority of the agents, when they go to a home and they meet with the seller, they go over everything about the house, location, condition, roof, furnace, AC, um, flooring, kitchens, bathrooms, all this goes into coming up with a price. If it was as simple as going to Zillow and saying, hey, I have three bedroom, two bath, and I have this many square feet, my house should be priced at X, nobody would be needed. There wouldn't even need to be an appraisal because you could just go online and say three bedroom, two bath gets X. That's not how it happens. Um, these Zillow estimates are out of control that the buyers are watching. Um, nine times out of 10, they're completely wrong. When their Zillow is looking at a value, they're going bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage. And they're going the last 30 days with everything that's sold within a two mile radius. They're taking ranches, two stories. They're taking everything in consideration. When you're selling a house, you have to go apples to apples, four bedroom, two bath, with a half bath, finished basement, unfinished basement. Who has done what to their house? Zillow doesn't know who has a new kitchen, who doesn't how many um, bathrooms have been updated or if somebody's done hardwood floors, that all goes into consideration. So back to this $150,000 house, it might be priced at 140. The reason it's priced at 140 is it has a 25 year old furnace and a 25 year old roof, but things have been updated. That has already been taken in consideration, Mr. Buyer, that when you walk through the home, you wanna come down in price because they have or you think, well, I've got to replace a furnace and a roof in a few years. Well, that's already been taken into consideration. That's why the house is priced lower than the neighborhood. But Mr. Seller, even if you had a brand new roof and a brand new furnace, that doesn't make your house worth 160 above the neighborhood because the people expect a house to be maintained. They expect the things to be working. Also, buyers today feel that they should negotiate, get them down on price, get sellers to give them closing cost assistance, and then fix all the repairs in the house. There's only so much money in every transaction. And if the house is already priced lower because of those items, and you want to negotiate lower, and then you want the seller to pay your closing costs because you can't afford to buy the house without them, and then you want them to fix everything, where does this become a win-win for the seller? 